All right, let's talk epoxies. All right, guys, welcome back again to another Bain's Basics. And again, thanks for all the comments. There's hundreds of comments. I try to get back to them all as we can. Uh, and also, I was going to start a series w uh, that we're going to call um, uh, Questions and Answers. Basically, I put a question up on the board because there's some really, really good questions. I'm trying to um, integrate that information into other videos, but there's some really, really good questions I'd like to uh, bring up and then we can break them down a little bit and decipher um, how people are looking at things, what mechanisms they may be missing or what mechanisms they 100% they understand and um, are actually using to their benefit. But yeah, really, really, really good engagement, lots of questions. So today I wanted to cover this because I see tons of questions come up about uh, epoxies in cylinder heads and manifolds. So I thought I'd do a little video on this because I've used epoxies for probably 20 years, maybe even longer than that. It's probably more like 30, but it's been a long time. Uh, like many of us in the industry, we, we use a lot of that sort of stuff and we, we, we find what we can, what works and, and, and sort of go from there. Um, the uh, original days of like, um, what was the product we used to use? Um, you know, like your JB stuff, two-part stuff. It wasn't really, really successful. But a lot of people use um, Z-Spa or what they call um, Splash Zone. So I'm actually going to show you the packaging. Uh, a lot of people talk about it. As I said, um, he, it, it comes up in the questions all uh, now and again. And guys that know what they're doing generally jump in and go, this is what it's called, right? Uh, so I was actually going to do... A little video show you what it is and i'll also show you the compound that we use to seal it again some people say with the z par and the the uh z spa and the splash zone um that you need to seal it now I, i've done it both ways um unless it's something really really exotic as far as fuel type goes maybe with methanol and stuff like that but even in saying that i've got manifolds that are 10 year old uh, that aren't sealed, that have uh, splash zone in them and run methanol and they don't even look like they're going to um, to, to release. So, um, yeah, there's a few things there. Obviously, it depends on, you know, how, how well it's looked after, if it's left soaked in fuel. Um, th there's also how you prep it. Uh, like I like to burr the surface up and give it something to bite into. Um, I've had cylinder heads come in that we've repaired that other people have put um, this stuff in and they've actually released. I think we did videos on this last year or the year before on some Ford heads that we had to do. We ended up fixing the cylinder heads and doing a tunnel ram for it for 750 horsepower street engine or street strip thing. Um, and yeah, generally what I see and lots of guys will probably um, agree with me here that have used it for a long time. It's generally preparation error. Like you see when it's released and there's just muck and grit and just standard casting in sometimes. They haven't actually cleaned that. So I, 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 I would put it, um, unless the casting was sandblasted or something like that, but if you're putting it over something that already has an oxidized layer, uh, that is, isn't is really going to attach well because that oxidized layer has already created um, separation between the aluminium and the oxidized layer itself. So it, it's, not, um, it's not a great attachment. It's a bit like drywall. If it's dusty and you try and um, paint over it, that, that'll just peel off later on because you, you, you haven't got the dust off it, right? Um, oxidization of aluminium can have the same effect. That's why you can actually rub oxidization on a block uh, and it flakes off and you get little white dust. It's because it's actually starting to break away from the subsurface of the aluminium itself in the oxidization process, right? Rust, like, like steel. So same as rust, rub it, comes off, right? So I'm just gonna go through two products that I use and a sealing product that I use, again, just to help you understand what, what we what we got here. So 
The first obviously is the common one, um, splash zone. Everyone around the world uses this, the, the amount of people I know that use this. And generally, whenever you ask, this is the first product people will mention. Um, yeah, again, I've used this one for probably 20 years. Really, really good product. Um, and yeah, it stays in position if you use it right, prepare it right, and just do a, some, some common things with it. Pump fuel, E85 seems great. I've got it in manifolds of E85 and methanol, as I said, uh, 10 years on. Um, also, the way you put it in helps. So if you've got really, really big chunks with a lot of contact area, that, that tends to help. Um, if you're just doing the little patch stuff, that can be a problem because you've got like an edge and um, sometimes it can eat away at the edge. So, um, but yeah, we got that one. Um, and this next product is um, Ferrolupe, I think they call it. This one's, I don't know whether this is worldwide, but we get this in Australia. Uh, it's a little cheaper than that, or well, it's probably half price, um, well, probably one third the price, and it comes in slightly smaller containers. So you'll do, and that, that's the other problem, it does go off. So unless you're doing like 20 sets of heads or completely filling a manifold, you really don't need that. Um, these will do about 10 sets of heads, depending on how much work you actually have to put in, right? So this is another product. And again, they're just a one-to-one -one, um, uh, ratio. So really, really easy to mix. You can do it with scales. I generally just guess it. Um, a little bit of common sense when you do it. Try and keep the ratios, you know, fairly close to each other. Uh, mix them together really well. And I've shown in the videos, once you get it in place, you can actually use a little bit of water to shape it. Um, don't go crazy with it because uh, it can can get into that top layer of it. But yeah, if you just sort of um, quickly rub it and shape it, um, yeah, it tends to work well. Uh, and sealers, let's talk about sealers. Okay, so this is a DevCon product and DevCon was like one of the original epoxies we used to use. But this is just a five minute, two part epoxy, same sort of thing. It's just a clear, like you, you can paint it on. Um, same thing, mix the two bases together uh, and you can pretty much just paint over the uh, epoxy. Uh, and this just stops, especially with methanol and some exotic fuels biting into that over time. Um, again, Depends what it is, but um, you don't always need to do that in, in drag type stuff. Uh, and even Pete was telling me about the, the product we get here in Australia. Uh, he's got it in a manifold and they've run, I think it's run methanol and everything. And uh, same thing, he's had no dramas with it whatsoever, releasing or having any sort of any sort of problems. But you can do some simple tests also with, your, with the product stuff, what we did um, years ago. Um, we, we would just, with the leftover, bond some aluminium to it and then just sit it in, in a container of fuel and just see how long, um, you know, 100% of that fuel type takes to actually break the bonds, right? Um, even with um, shiny aluminium, which doesn't have the RA to really bite in, you can see how strong it is. If you do, like we've done a few tests with it and smash it with a hammer and it just bends and ends up snapping the aluminium off before it breaks away but um, if you actually sit it in a solution of fuel uh, you'll see how it obviously reacts to that we did the same sort of thing with uh, rubbers and vitons with our fuel system um, stuff but um, yeah that's it guys I just thought I'd throw this quick one together because it I get asked about it all the time and I see it in the questions and people are constantly saying run this run this so Z spa or, or splash zone and that other product we talked about cheers guys Thank you.